right, here we are in a beautiful San Francisco Bay Area, California here. Been on a road trip for a few days, gonna share a couple special cars with you here. 1956 Chevy Bel Air. Very nicely done, 60 style gasser. Walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Finished in its factory Sierra Gold and Adobe Beige colors. This is an all factory trim car prior to its modifications, which started, I believe they were completed about 2012 or somewhere in that time window, uh, shortly thereafter. Beautiful, beautiful body. This is a one owner car. The current owner is the second owner of this car. So it lets you an idea of the body on this car. It's absolutely rust free. These are all original panels on this car. So it was a perfect specimen to start with. When you build a car like this, we get underneath, we'll uh, share some of that with you. A lot of pro work done on it. We're gonna get into the specs at Spud's Garage. We'll have some running video for you. Obviously, vintage style. This is the frame rails on this one are uh, factory box frame rails have been modified, restructured for the setup that he, the gentleman did here. But original floor pan still has a drip from the primer and all they did was recolor it. Body was off the frame. 98,000 actual mile car and we'll get to the inside. A lot of the interior is original on it or original style that was restored many years ago. So it's got a little bit of character on it. Up front here, you'll see the uh, era style straight axle. We'll get you underneath the hood and talk about some of the details there. We'll actually have a little short video where I'll walk around with the undercarriage camera and cover more. But most, if not all, of the trim you see on this car is all factory to it. So it's got just a little bit of character, but it also shows you how this was a beautiful original car to begin with. Uh, something the gentleman wanted to do is always put together one of these for himself. And a lot of pros worked on it. Again, we'll have specs at Spud's Garage or people that deal with these kind of cars or building this type of car. Underneath the hood's a 427 cubic inch. One of the limited production aluminum block, aluminum heads on it, winner's heads, dual tunnel ram with dual hollies. Has an M22 rock crusher transmission. Has a period drag style uh, Olds rear axle with 456 ratio in it. So well, these, these window, this window trim here has never been off the car. Flippers just work wonderfully. When they refinished the car, they did not jam it because they did finish the original colors. And you'll see this very nice survivor style car. Perfect to do this kind of, it's almost, this car is almost like you would find the perfect car in the 60s to build yourself a drag car. And that's what he did. So door jam, this is all original paint in the door jams back seat you'll see the trim there the cage is what's really special and this is all custom built it's built to go in in sections it's pinned and you can see up here we'll try and get you up to the cage here over there you'll see it came in sections in the trunk we'll get in the trunk i want to show you where it bolted there all factory seat you'll see the uh, factory door sill plates here so the body was lifted off the factory frame rails. The chassis was reworked for this application and then reinstalled back. The body was set back on the frame. While the body was off, they turned it over, cleaned it, and all they did was recolor the factory floor pans that had the factory style drips in it, where they dipped it, where they dipped the coating on the bottom of the car, the oxide. It is titled and registered. It's the kind of car you could uh, take out in the street or take it down for a boulevard cruise if you liked. Has an audio system, Bluetooth audio, or a connection that you can connect it to your cell phone. A wired connection. Early vintage style Chrome Krager SS mags on it. So no rust, zero, Zippo. Flippers on this side, same thing, door jam to door jam. Badass fun if you wanna have a little fun.
take you back to the time warp time back to the 60s there's an MSD box up underneath the dash here has a vintage sun tac with a eb9a transistor uh, box out underneath the hood it's been updated all factory dash trim this is all original paint on the dash here three gauge pack here's the custom auto sound radio controls and there is a connection in the seat here pull out the cable there where you can connect your phone to it factory bin and its location well, actually, all right we'll get you underneath the hood here and we're going to cover most of the details at spud's garage the internals of the engine that type of thing because he's going to bring it all together for me here i'm just going to give you the basics uh it's a 427 aluminum block one of the limited edition blocks standard bore that uh, gm put out for a few years there it has uh, we'll put cylinder heads on it you'll see the winner's markings there The fender well headers here the firewall when the body was off the chassis uh, they refinished the firewall and alternator down there the custom chassis we talked about during the walk around aluminum radiator electric cooling fans nicely presented uh, Edelbrock tunnel ram dual carburetors Has a uh, working uh, Sun early football style tack is what I call them. Here's the EB9A. It's been converted. It's got no battery in it anymore. It's got a transistor. Here's the hooked up heater hoses on it. Mechanical fuel pump here. Again, old school style build. We'll get you in the trunk here cover it for you very much uh, very well done as far as the modifications go the cage comes in and out in pieces and we'll show you that on the interior we may have already shown you that it has an audio system that connects to your cell phone with a cable up at the front seat you'll see the uh, boss two channel amp I believe that is and the speakers there like we talked about during the walk around this was a rock solid original san jose car one owner car when he bought it to uh, do the transformation here rust free you'll see the wells down here which is where these typically rust beautiful underbody on this car Okay, we're going to do a little quick little undercarriage here for you and give you a feel. We didn't have a lift here, but we really didn't need it. We rolled underneath it. Nicely done, what we talked about during the walk around. Disc brakes on the front. Get you in the wheel wells here. You'll see how the firewall was refinished when it was done. All they did was clean the factory floor pans and then refinish the red oxide color and the dark undercoat with a with a overcoat or just a color coat. Obviously all show quality you see the floor pans we get you, we had you in the trunk there to kind of get a feel Get you all the way around it
could uncork it if you wanted. Catch the pans there. There you go.